Video review of the Limey Tactical Drop Leg Strife Holster. So this holster is dedicated to the strife and it actually drop legs, which is why it's called a drop leg holster, on your belt here and then it affixes to your leg down here and it holds a strife on your leg uh, ready to use as a secondary. Very well made holster, so I'll go over the details. First, the retention of the blaster within the holster, which is always very important since that's the function of a holster. The base here actually holds the nozzle of the strife and it has an open side port here so you can have any magazine, which is great. I personally wouldn't recommend like a drum because it is attached to your leg. So if you have too much weight or bulk, it's just going to be flopping around. Um, I like the maybe 12 round or the six round magazine for an emergency secondary. It is fixed to the holster pretty well because down here scoops into the nozzle so you can't really pull out, out or upward and the top strap prevents you from also pulling it up. And then up at the top here, this strap actually holds the blaster to the holster in the top region here. Um, this is actually just a little uh, friction snap thing that um, very quickly comes off for a deholstering. The retention of this button is pretty much perfect in my opinion and it also has this nice little flap here so this will make more sense when it's actually in my body in a moment. Um, but you can reach down and very quickly just nudge that right off and then uh, uh, draw and fire your uh, strife. It's a pretty fine balance um, and I think they nailed it very very well. Um, too much retention and it's kind of difficult to get out and then you can't actually draw the blaster. If it's too light it'll just pop off and then the blaster will fall off your hip. I think that retention is great. That little loop is perfect because your your right thumb here is just going to come down and snap there anyways in order to grip your grip. Um, so I, it's a phenomenal design. So again this is the top strap and then that just loops around and clicks into place and then that's how you retain the blaster. Around back is your belt loop. That is a tuck-in belt loop. It won't snap on, so you do have to take the belt off. And for some tactical belts, that is kind of irritating, um, but it's a very secure fit. Um, and it is sort of narrow, so it holds pretty tightly on standard belts. You don't really need a tactical belt. Uh, this will go on a street belt just fine. This component is double stitched into the actual base of that, um, of the holster padding. Um, so I think that's that's gonna hold pretty well. And all of the stitches are great. A lot of it's double stitched in the, the more high stress areas, which I think is a great idea. Uh, most tactical gear is like that. Um, heavy duty stitching like on this, because a lot of the weight will be here when you're pulling. Um, this is pretty strong stitching here. Of course, you're not gonna walk up and do this to a normal holster, but I'm a reviewer. My job is to stress test everything. This is not the ordinary forces that will be applied to this, but if it can withstand me pulling on it, um, normal nerf use is gonna be fine. The holster itself is based on one single plate pretty much, um, and it actually has a little bit of foam. So when it's touching your leg, it's actually pretty cushy. Uh, nice plush material. I think that's an added bonus, not really necessary for tactical gear. And I like how they sort of stepped it up there. So it's a overall very nice base. Uh, the strap, which I just went over, high quality, double stitched, very secure. The retention is pretty much perfect. The belt loop is great. Um, the lower retention panel is where the blaster sits in, as I just mentioned. That's stitched on there very well, very securely. Um, it is nice and open because it's pretty quick to reinsert the blaster if you wanted to do that. It does take two hands to do it smoothly in order to um, set up the rear, uh, I'm sorry, the top retention piece. Um, so it's not really a quick insert holster, it's just very quick to pull out. Ayo. Getting down to the bottom straps, which are a lot of times the make or break point of a lot of drop leg holsters. I've used a lot of drop leg for firearms, for airsoft, um, for various nerf things in the past. If they don't do the straps right at the bottom, it can ruin a perfect upper design. Um, that's just because of the nature of a drop leg holster. But in this case, I think they did a very nice job. So these straps are a very nice material, and then these buckles are very heavy duty. Actually, might be too heavy duty because they are rather large. Uh, that's just my opinion, though. Um, they do their jobs very well. So you can set your um, retention and then just unbuckle them so then you're not pulling on tabs trying to get that same retention that you had last time. You set it and forget it, and then you snap it into place when you're ready to play. One thing that makes these straps really great is the elastic. When you don't put elastic in the um, drop leg, it will not allow your leg to move and then snap back to its previous position. Um, so it's either going to be too floppy or it's going to cut circulation off your uh, leg. So the elastic pull cord here, as you can see, allows you to have a nice snug fit, but then when you make a weird lunging move, your thigh doesn't like get uh, circulation cut off or anything crazy. Um, but the strap quality is great. It's double stitched on the side. I've stress tested this component as well, not like vigorously, but you know, if I could pull on it hard, it's not going to come off in a normal Nerf game. We're not operating, we're just playing with foam toys. Um, but I think you can abuse this component pretty well and it'll hold up. So that's the fin and finish. I'll show you how to put it on. You need to take your belt off as mentioned and then put your belt loop, I'm sorry, your belt through the belt loop on the holster and then realign your belt loop um, on your pants. I personally would not recommend using any type of drop leg device without pants with a belt loop. If you wear a free floating belt, it'll it'll lopside, it'll be all awkward. Um, if you have pants with a belt loop, it'll be a much more secure fit. That goes for all drop leg devices. And then getting a lo little lower, you wanna unbuckle your little buckles here and then attach the drop leg holster to your lower leg or your upper leg. 
You can pull on these little tabs and adjust it, given your leg diameter and thickness. If you're fatty, you're, you can loosen it up. These are very wildly adjustable, so I'm pretty sure it'll fit pretty much any body type. Um, these things are pretty massive, so even if you're morbidly obese, it'll fit, um, and it should fit a child pretty well. And it also has this little elastic loop built in, so you can just fold up your um, excess cord here and make it nice and tidy. Not going to waste too much time with that, but that's great. So it's not flapping around like this top one. The bottom one is nice and stationary and it looks a little bit better. So the drop leg holster is secured. Inserting the strife is fairly straightforward. It's just like that. Then you have to secure the top strap here and now it's secure. The elastic in the strap is very important. So when it's a tight fitting, when you, when you stretch up to run, to lunge, to jog, to do anything, it's going to flex a little bit rather than just be really tight and uncomfortable. So you can really tighten it up so it doesn't wobble at all. And then when you need it to move, it does just a little bit. Drawing the blaster is very quick. As you can see there, it's just a quick flick of the thumb and then you're good to go. However, the drawback of having such a quick draw is generally it's a little harder to put it back in, uh, giggity and it does take a second to re-snap it like that. So that's how it works. Overall, you just saw me shake a whole bunch, and in my opinion, it, it, the retention is pretty much perfect. It's not like you're holding a firearm on your hip. It is a very light plastic strife. I mean, it's a toy, so it doesn't have to be amazing, and I think it's, it's designed specifically for the Nerf toy, and it's wonderful at its job. And again, the retention is perfect because you can just very quickly draw and then fire. So overall opinion of the Limey Tactical Drop Leg Strife Holster is very positive. Um, I think the price is a little higher um, than a lot of other options, but for the quality and because it's a specific Nerf component, it's not like a makeshift airsoft thing that's sloppily fitted, a custom fit for this purpose. Um, if you're a hardcore Nerfer, I think it's definitely worth it. Um, whether or not it's practical to run a strife on your, sec uh, on your side as a secondary is depending on your loadout. What I would personally recommend is maybe run a strife if you're running a Springer or something with lower rate of fire. Um, I personally wouldn't run like a drum, but it will work with one. I'll show you here. It will fit, but then as you can see, it's just flopping a ton because there's a lot of offset weight. It's not connected to your body. It's offset a few inches over, um, so it's just not as comfortable as running you know, a six or maybe a 12 round magazine. So that's the product review of the Limey Tactical Strife Drop Leg Holster. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the section below. This is not a product I'm selling, so check out the description box. If you have sales questions, don't direct those towards me. I won't be able to answer them. I'm not working for this company. But overall, high quality product for uh, hardcore nerfers. Check it out if you're interested. Thanks for watching, guys.